So these are primers and like skincare mini kind of things. Not all my skincare, but just kind of things that I would put on before or around makeup. Like so I don't have my UFO oil or my Martian toner, stuff like that. I'm definitely not getting rid of. This is just more moisturizers, eye cream, sunscreen kind of stuff. So yeah, and then these are primers. So I think I'm gonna start, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna start here. All right, so this is the Tarte Maracuja C Brighter Eye Cream. I am almost done with this and I will just be using up the rest because I really don't have much left, but I probably won't be repurchasing that. This is my Nivea Lip Butter. I don't know why it's in here. This is a must have for me and I will be keeping it. This I just threw because I didn't know where to put this. This is the Blotter Razi by Beauty Blender. I'm gonna get rid of this. I find it kind of gross. I never use it. I just don't need it. This is a sample of the Drunk Elephant TLC Glycolic Night Serum. Definitely gonna keep this to try this out. Oh God, I feel like I'm never getting rid of anything. I wanna get rid of something. Okay, this is the Benefit Puff Off. I will be getting rid of this. I never use this. I think this is in my current project pan and I still just can't force myself to use it. So it's going. These two are what I'm currently using. This is the Caudalie Reverse Draw Eye Lifting Balm. It's my current eye cream. And this is the Dermalogica Active Moist. Currently using these. Not obsessed with either, but we'll be keeping. This is my current sunscreen. This is the Dr. Jart UV Sun Fluid. We'll be finishing that up. I'm also currently using the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley and we'll be using that up. And the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Cloud Cream. Really enjoying this so far. All right, now I just need to check expiration dates on sunscreens. This expired in February, so that's going. This doesn't expire until January, so that can stay. Oh, I'm using this, so this can stay because I actually don't hate this. This is the Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial by Corez. Not awful. Not my favorite thing, though. This expired in June, so I'm getting rid of that. I do not mess around with expired sunscreen, guys. And you should not either. All right. This I never use. It's the Kate... Somerville goat milk like eye depuffing under eye thing. Don't use it. Gonna get rid of it. I probably will never use the Neutrogena Healthy Defense Daily Moisturizer. I'm just not drawn to it. I will be keeping the milk cooling stick because I actually did enjoy this when I went to Florida, so that can stay. I will be keeping the Algenist eye cream. It's my next eye cream in my rotation. I'm pretty much gonna keep all my eye creams cause like I have an eye cream thing like where I love to try different ones. So we have the Clinique Pep Start, the Origins Ginseng and the Benefit It's Potent samples. I'm all gonna keep those. I have two of these. Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. I only need one. I haven't even opened one, so I'm gonna get one of, rid of one of those. I will be keeping my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Love this stuff. I will also be keeping the Clinique Pep Start Moisturizer. This my mom loves and I wanna give it a shot. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Nude Glow. Excited to give that a shot. I just received this. This is the Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer from Glam Glow. Gonna try that out. And I have been using this little Holdelay Divine Oil for just different things. Um, this probably could go, but I'm gonna keep using it up. It is kind of leaking in there. All right, for primers, this is the one I'm currently using and loving. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1. This is beautiful. I love this. Hoo hoo hoo. Um, I don't need two strobe creams because I barely use it anymore. So I'm just gonna pick one and keep it. I have two professional here. I only need one because I don't love this stuff. And I use it when I travel like these little minis, but I just don't love the professional. I do want to give the Becca Backlight Priming Filter a shot. So I'm gonna keep that. I love the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. So that is definitely staying. This is another one of my favorites, the Smashbox, Smashbox Photo Finish. The Josie Moran 
Josie Mar the Josie Marin finishing balm. I have no I didn't know what this was for a while, so now that I read up on it, I do want to keep it and try it out. We have the mattifying primer and the illuminating primer from Cover Effects. I think I'm gonna try out both and see what I think. This is MAC Prep and Prime. I do want to try that out. And the Lancome, the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. I'm just, okay, I'm not really drawn to that, so I probably would never use it. I think it would just sit in my collection for a while, so I'm going to get rid of that. yet again not getting rid of a ton this is everything I'm keeping and everything I am getting rid of so not awful but not great so these are foundations powders setting sprays and concealers and they're not all usually like thrown in here like this I have a different way of doing it um, that aren't in these drawers but I just figured I would just get it all out of the way like this so first on top we have my First on top, we have my Max Fix, my Mac Fix Plus, the very ends of that, and my Smashbox Priming Water. I'm going to be keeping both of these just because I'm right at the end of them. I won't be repurchasing either of these, but I will use them up. And then I have a little mini of the All Nighter, which I love, so that's going to stay. Oh god, alright. I guess we can do powder. So this, I'm working my way through tonight, my project pan, and because of that, I will be keeping it. This is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is my favorite thing to set my under eye with, so we'll be keeping that. This is the Derma Blend like White Silica Powder. I like this. This is the Bare Minerals Well Rested. This isn't my favorite anymore, but I feel like I might just keep trying to use it up. This is an It Cosmetics like sample of the Bye Bye Pores Pressed. I haven't tried this yet, so I wanna give it a shot. This is the Makeup Forever HD Silica Powder. I want to try that out for sure. This is a mini of the Laura Mercier Translucent. I want to keep that. I'm basically keeping everything so far. Great. This is the Bare Minerals Original. I will be getting into this. I never use it. I never reach for it. There's no point in keeping it. I do like the Tarte, what is this called? Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation in Fair Honey. I do really like this, so I will be keeping that. All right, foundations can go over there. Concealers can go over here, so we'll go to concealer. Definitely keeping my Naked Skin Corrector in pink. Love this for under the eyes, keeping it. Definitely keeping my Tarte Shape Tape. Really enjoying this lately staying and ooh, you know what i'm gonna get rid of this i think it's pretty old and it's a little dark for me i like bought it dark this is the pro long wear concealer by mac so i think i'm just gonna back to mac this and pick up a uh, shade that actually matches me better um this is an amazing concealer it covers everything i just need a better shade the maybelline fit me People love this. I was not a super fan of it, so I think I'm gonna pass this on. Same goes for the Erase Paste. I just did not find this to be that great. I think it's because I am so pale that this is a tad dark for under the eyes on me. Same goes for the It Bye Bye Under Eyes. This is in medium and it's just too dark for me, so I'm gonna pass that on. Benefit Fake Up, I actually really like on No Makeup Days. I know they changed the name of this, but I'm um, this is just like a little like sample of it. And I want to use that up a little bit more, see if I like it. And Boing, I will be keeping because I do really enjoy this. Alright, now on to the hard part. Alright, the Hourglass Vanish, I like a lot. I just got it. I'm going to keep that. Same goes for the Sheer Glow. Just recently started trying this out, enjoying it so far. Estee Lauder Double Wear, absolute favorite, one of my absolute favorite foundations, keeping. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus, love this, keeping that. Ooh. This I'm keeping, I just rediscovered this. This is the uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. 
Oh my god, you guys, this is amazing. This is like one of the only things that actually keeps me matte all day. No grease. It's beautiful. Keeping it. Okay, hard part, hard part, hard part. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous because I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is expired and there's no point in hanging on to expired makeup. This is the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. I actually had this for a really long time without opening it. I finally opened it and I put it on. I just did not like it, so I'm gonna pass it on. This I like. This is the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. Um, I find it to be a little bit cakey at times, which is weird because it is a matte moisture tint. It looks kind of weird on my skin sometimes, but if I put it on correctly, I can make this work, so I'm going to use that. These two are so hard for me because I was pretty much sure, like positive, I was going to be getting rid of this. This is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation from Benefit, and this is the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. I felt like both of these looked horrid on my skin, but then recently I kind of gave them another shot. I tried different primers, different like ways of putting them on, and I've kind of made them work for me. However, I don't know if I want to try that hard to make them work. I think I'm going to get rid of the Hello Flawless, mostly because I like it a lot less than this. Like this, I feel like actually looks good on my skin for a while before it kind of makes me look like a kinky mess. And then that can be prevented if I use it correctly. This is really hit or miss, so I think I'm going to get rid of this. So definitely, yet again, not the most successful thing I've ever done. This is everything I'm keeping. And that's everything I'm getting rid of. So not the best, but not the most awful thing in the world either. Oh well. Okay, so here we have my blushes, bronzers, and highlights. I don't have like a ton, but I do have a little bit more than I need and a little bit more that I can comfortably fit in these drawers. I was going to get new storage, but then I thought you have a lot of stuff that you don't use that you should get rid of. So I'm just going to basically grab the stuff that I know I want to keep first and then we'll go from there. This is my Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlight in 01. This thing is gorgeous. It's like a pinky highlight and I am obsessed with this, so this is definitely staying. This is my Urban Decay Afterglow Highlight in Sin, another one I absolutely love and is pretty new to me, so that will be staying as well. This is the Becca Moonstone, wrong way. This is probably my most used highlight ever, so that will definitely be staying in my collection. Highlight-wise, I don't see myself getting rid of pretty much anything. This is my Hourglass ambient lighting palette. Everybody loved this when it came out and I loved it too, so I will be keeping it. These two are mini watts up. I just do not reach for these ever and I just feel like they could go to a better home, so I am going to be getting rid of both of these minis. This is the Tarte blush that came in the birthday present this year. I love this. I've been using this like crazy, so that is definitely going to be staying. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in Fearless. This has a ton of shimmer in it, and because of that, I never wear it, so I'm going to get rid of it. This Laura Geller Baked French Vanilla Highlight is rather new to me, and because of that, it will be staying. I pretty much feel like I'm not getting rid of any of my highlighters. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector like liquid in opal right yeah opal and this is the like powder version these are both a little dark for me and i really want to get to using this more and if i don't then it needs to go but this i do use sometimes This is the Casey Holmes Smashbox Palette in Pearl. I'm obsessed with this. It's absolutely 
gorgeous and just, yeah, definitely keeping. This is Champagne Pop, a cult classic, so that's gonna stay. This is a model's own highlighting stick in incandescent, and I haven't had too much of a chance to play with this. I just was given this, like a pinky highlight, and I definitely want to play with that more. Same goes for the Trace Deeks highlighting stick in Maldives. Just a really creamy champagne color. And the same goes for the Clinique Chubby stick in hefty highlights and the little cover effects. Okay, next up for highlighter, this is the Milk Holographic Makeup Stick. People loved this. I haven't really tried it out too much and I wanna keep that, to give it more of a shot. And I love this color. I love this cover effects highlighter in Halo, so definitely, definitely keeping that. All right, so since highlighters are done, I will be getting rid of my Benefit Bella Bomba blush. This is just another shade that has glitter in it and that I just don't find use for. So that can go. This Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, I haven't really played with too much, so I will be keeping it. Yeah, I feel like I'm just going to be keeping the rest of this. This is MAC Ambering Rose. Love this blush. Definitely keeping it. The NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. Classic. So good. Hoola, of course, I'm going to be keeping. Hervana is like my all-time favorite boxed blush from Benefit, so that has to stay. My Hourglass Blush Palette. I'm having issues opening, but gorgeous. Keeping it. This is like a mini NARS. I think I got this as a gift for some reason in Goulet. So pretty. Keeping. And unfortunately, I will be keeping my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer because I didn't think I was going to like it and I end up really liking it. So, oh well. So that was definitely not the most successful. This is what I'm keeping and I'm only getting rid of four products, but at least it's something.